Hi, I'm Linda from Sew and Bee Fabrics. I want to show you how to make a fabric wallflower. So what we're going to do first is to cut out our petals. I'm going to use this circle cutter by Fiskars just to make life really easy for myself. I'm going to cut it out on the largest size which is um, 12 inches but if you wanted to do bigger or smaller than that then by all means you can scale it up or down. So all we need to do is just to hold it still, push down and we've got our circle cut out. And next we're going to hand sew around the edges of the petal. So if we just make a knot in here first. And then we're going to sew a really loose running stitch all the way around the edge. Now as you're sewing you want to try and make sure that you keep the end fairly gathered up. It doesn't have to be perfectly neat, that's why it really doesn't matter how many stitches you try and do at once. Once you start getting to halfway, you're going to notice that it's going to start forming almost like a little bag or a little pouch. That's absolutely fine, that's exactly what we're after. So when you get at the end, it should be completely closed over like that. All you're going to do is just to tie a knot again at the end. And there you have it. Your first petal is already done. So you just repeat that for all the other petals. Now you've got all seven of your petals sewn. Next up, you're going to want two circles that are five inches in diameter. Pop my two circles pattern side together, we're just going to sew all the way around, leaving a little one inch gap to be able to turn it. Now we're just going to clip around the edges just to make it easier to turn so it lies a bit more flat. So just a few little snips, don't cut your stitching. and then we just want to turn it through that hole.
Then I'm just going to take a little piece of two ounce wadding and I'm just going to pop that inside through that gap there. We're going to tuck these edges under and then we're just going to do a top stitch all the way around and then that'll be the front of your flower. So I'm just lining the fabric edge up with the outer side of the uh, quarter inch foot and not the actual guide just so it's a little bit closer to that edge and then we're just going to stitch all the way through. So a few stitches first and this just to secure them and then we're going to stitch our way round. we're going to attach the petals to the back. You'll probably also want to attach a piece of ribbon. So as we go to sew this on, I would make sure that your needle only goes through this top layer here and then it doesn't show through at all to the front. I would recommend sewing your petals on first because you want your ribbon hidden at the back. So you're only needing to do a few stitches up in amongst where those gathers are, maybe even slightly over the top of them so that it really hides those raw edges. So we're just going up through here, down somewhere in the middle. And then I'm doing this one without it being present so you can see I'm just skimming through. You can't see it at all on the other side and that needle's just coming through here. So if I were to just pull that tight, you'll see that that petal then sits over the top and through here so I'm just going to hold that in place so you just won't be able to see quite so well what I'm doing. And just make sure that when you come back through you're catching right through this top layer that it's not coming out somewhere in the middle and then that way it will help it all to lie a bit flatter. So there's the first petal done, you're just going to repeat that for all of the other petals as well. So you should have something that looks a little bit like this around the back of your petals. So now we want to attach the ribbon. What I would do is just bring it so that it's centrally over one of the petals and then you're not going to see it. I'd make sure you've got a decent amount sticking through and you're literally just going to stitch that one on top as well. I've still got my thread in from the last petal I sewn so that's why I'm already attached. we go. So now we have a choice for the last bit. You could just do the same as you did for the front piece and then sew that onto the back if you wanted it to be washable and you wanted it to, um, to sit the same. But what I'm going to do to give it a little bit more structure is to cut out a piece of cardboard that's a little bit wider than the circle so it helps to give the petals a little bit of extra structure too. And we're going to use a hot glue gun to just stick that to the back. One of the fun things about the uh, circle cutter is you can also use it as a circle template. So all I need to do is just pop my uh, pencil in here and then I can just draw around. So I'm just going to do a seven inch circle and again just watch for the line for where your half circle is and then you can flip it over and do the other side and cut it out. So a seven inch diameter circle is what you're yeah. after. Now we're just going to pop the hot glue all the way around on our cardboard circle. And 
you're just going to press your circle right the way down in the centre, making sure that none of the cardboard is sticking out from behind the petals. And here it is all finished, brightening up my till. And if you enjoyed that, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and we'll bring you more sewing tutorials soon.